Welcome back you guys for another curriculum picks video. Today's video I am sharing what we are using for our family subjects. So if you want to see this then stick around. If you are new here, first of all, I just want to welcome you. My name is Sarah and this is my channel Rolling with the Rouses and here you will find content on motherhood, homeschooling, my faith in Christ, along with some book reviews, book hauls, curriculum reviews, and flip throughs. So if you like content like that, then be sure to subscribe down below and hit that little bell so that you're notified when new videos come out. Okay, so because of the way my kids' ages are, I decided to try out something differently this year. Our oldest child is 11 years old and he is going into sixth grade and then we have a four year gap and it goes my daughter who is seven and then my son who is five, my other son who is four and then my daughter who is two. Now, hopefully my two year old will be taking naps through this whole school year, I'm praying, because I feel like my kids stop taking naps around two and a half, three, and then they're like, I'm done. Uh, so I'm praying that she will nap a little longer than my other ones did. But the way I am doing it this year is I am pretty much going to have my oldest son do his own history and science um, geography stuff. And then I'm going to be grouping my seven, five, and four-year-old together. So here is why I did this, because I found this curriculum that I'm going to be sharing with you. Actually, I found both of these curriculums that I'm going to be sharing with you, and I was so excited that I wanted to do both of them. One of them I chose was like for geared towards really young kids, and then the other one I chose, I mean, you could do it as a family, but I think it would be way too intense for my younger ones. So that is why I separated them. And I'm hoping that this is gonna work good. Now, my oldest is more than welcome to sit and listen to some of the stuff that I'm doing with my younger ones because one of the things I'm gonna share with you today is a literature-based curriculum. He loves to sit around and listen to me read, so he's more than welcome to join that. And vice versa, anything that I'm doing with my oldest, if any of my younger ones want to join in, they're more than welcome to as well. That's kind of how I am doing my family subjects is I'm grouping my littler ones together and that's what I'm sharing with you guys today is what I'm doing with my three younger children. Um, so the first thing that I picked is A Year of Tales and this is a literature and nature based curriculum for kinder through third grade. So I thought this would be so great and you buy this curriculum, it comes with tons of principles, tons of activities, and then it has book lists in here, and it also has a few spines. Now, the spines that go with this curriculum are this book right here, which is, actually it's like the whole Beatrix Potter collection. So some of the, the other books that are in this are not in this, but I am either going to buy them um, which I already have one, or I'm gonna get them at our library. But I was like, so excited when I found this because I actually found this at a garage sale like two years ago for $2. So I was like, well, I already have most of the stuff to go with this curriculum, so I'm gonna get this. Um, so for me, this was very affordable. I ended up purchasing the bundle, which was $75. And what's included is you get the, the elementary, the preschool, and then you get the Christmas bundle as well. And then I'm just gonna utilize this however I want. Like I said, this has a couple spines to it. And, and then it has like a whole book list for each week that you can add on to if you wanted to. Also something I had already had from the curriculum we did last year was, uh, farm and nature anatomy so i already had these i bought these on amazon when they were running a sale 
and I ended up just getting the three pack. And then it also comes with this book too, Curiosity. I think that's what it's called. Um, I can't remember the exact name. I don't have it yet, but I'm looking out to see if I can find it um, at a good price used. I will do a whole nother video explaining more in detail on this curriculum in case you are interested in that. But this is one of the things that I will be using for our family subjects. This says gentle learning covering character, Bible, poetry, art appreciation, literature, language arts, nature study, science, and handicrafts. Now, I am not using all of these. I'm just kind of taking what I want out of this because I also have another curriculum that we are going to be doing. Um, so I will be using character, Bible, uh, I might be doing some poetry, maybe some art appreciation. I'm definitely doing the literature uh, portion of it, uh, like reading the Beatrix Potter um, stuff with it. And that is pretty much it. And I might do some handicrafts and maybe some science. But those, I'm pretty much using it for the literature-based stuff and then Bible and character. And then the next thing that I'm doing with them is this Torchlight Level K, which is called Worldly Wisdom. Now, this is a secular program, whereas the other one is a Christian-based program. And the reason why I chose this is because I was looking through the book list and it just looked so good. And I really like that this is focusing on a, like a geography-based uh, curriculum. You're going to be learning about different countries and the culture there and all sorts of stuff like that. And the book list here was really good. So I wanted to try this out and I only paid $30 for this curriculum. And then what I did is I checked out a bunch of the books from the library just to see if this is something that I wanted to do. And then that way, if there was something like a book or whatever, I didn't like then we wouldn't read that um, but we are using this now this is a literature based program and what this one covers is it covers literature and poetry art and music geography social studies and culture it has some science character building and that is pretty much it so with this one um, I don't have all the spines yet and I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy them all or just check the other ones out from the library. This one has a ton of books that you're gonna be going through. I did purchase some of the books that were not spines because I would wanted them in our library. Uh, but what really made me want to get this curriculum is because it goes through this whole Mercy Watson series. And I have checked out some of these from the library like last year and the year before, and my kids really like love them. We really love the artist, uh, Chris Van Dusen. I think that's how you say his name. We had gotten uh, one of the books, Mr. McGee, Camping Spree with Mr. McGee, and we I just we just loved his illustrations so much that I ended up looking up all the books that he has done, like written and illustrated, and he actually illustrates this. I am excited to read these to my kids, and I know they're gonna love them so much. Like we've already read a couple of these books, and my kids love them. I really think they're gonna enjoy this curriculum, and like I said. Like my son will probably sit in and listen to some of these books because they're really good. The spines that they go through that I have is this one right here, which is Atlas of Animal Adventures. And this book is huge. I actually got this when it was on sale. I think this book is normally like 30, yeah, $35. And I think I paid like 20 bucks for it or something when Amazon had it on sale. So it is really big. It is, you know, full of gorgeous pictures and it's just an atlas of animals all around the world. So it, this is one of the spines. Another spine is Atlas of Adventures and it just shows you natural wonders, exciting experiences and fun festive uh, festivities from all over the globe. The next spine that I have is this one. I checked this one out from the library a long time ago and I knew 
from then I was going to purchase this because this book is just so beautiful. So it is a DK Smithsonian uh, Children's Illustrated Atlas. It's got beautiful pictures. It does have um, regular pictures or photographs uh, along with illustrated ones as well. So it's kind of like a mixture of both, which I really appreciate. But this this book is just absolutely gorgeous. Another one of the spines is this Big Science for Little People. And this book says it is 52 activities to help you and your child discover the wonders of science. So this just has like little experiments all in it, um, science experiments. So I found this used on book or thrift book for like five bucks. So that's why I purchased it. So the next book that I purchased is this 101 World Changing Women. And what I like about this one is it's actually broken down into categories. So chapter one is talking about leaders and activists, and then it has a whole list of women. And then chapter two is scientists and inventors. And then chapter three focuses on artists and writers. And then chapter four focuses on athletes and adventurers. Yeah, so here's just a little look inside of this one. So some of them are a little bit more lengthier and some of them there are shorter ones. The next thing that I purchased was this book here called Howl Like a Wolf. And this one says, learn to think, move, and act like 15 amazing animals. So this is packed with learning and fun activities. I just think this book is really beautiful and really cute. So they just go through this book with different animals and then give you different little activities to be like that animal, which I think is so cute. So I think my kids are really gonna enjoy this book. And then the last find that I purchased is this one. It is the McElderry book of Aesop's Fables. And this one, you know, it's just a book of Aesop's Fables. So it's got all of these here and all these really beautiful pictures in it. So that's just a little look inside of this book here. So, and then there's also a couple other spines, but like I said, I haven't decided if I'm going to purchase them. There's the A Year Full of Stories is one of the spines. Also, there's What a Wonderful Full Word. Um, I may get that one. And then there's this one here, If You Lived Here, Houses of the World, which is just going, talking about all the different houses that the kinds of houses that people live in. And then there's this book right here, What Do You Celebrate? I can't remember if my library had this one or not. I don't think they did, so I might purchase this one. But then they also have Cultured Chef Volume 1 and Volume 2, and both of those are spines. And these are just different recipes for around the world. Now, I haven't decided whether I'm going to use that or not. Um, I was trying to find it used, but I'm not able, I haven't been able to find it at a decent price. Uh, so I'm just not sure yet. I totally forgot. Okay, so another spine that I do own as well is the Adventures of Molly and Keila. And this is a virtues book for children. So this one looks pretty cute. I thought it was gonna have colored pictures, but it's not. This is kind of like what the inside of it looks like. So it just goes over different character traits. And yeah, I think this will be good to go over as well. And then another spine is the Be Naturally Curious Units. And uh, so this is like a whole science unit thing. So there are seven different little units within this science curriculum and I can't remember how much this one was. It was like maybe 10 or 15 bucks, but I think that's with the discount. So when you buy this, you will also get a 60% off code to be able to purchase that and get it for 60% off. But that's the Torchlight Science that will go with it. I think I might purchase it, but I just haven't gotten it yet. For art and music, there's the Collage Workshop for Kids, which this is 
kind of like an Eric Carle type of book. And I think I am gonna do this one because I think my kids would really enjoy it. You do a lot of um, collage uh, artwork and I think my kids would really enjoy that, um, especially my daughter. So I'm thinking about getting that one. And then this other one, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get this one as well to add to our poetry collection. But this one is called Song of the Wild. I did check it out from our library um, a while back and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna purchase it because it just has all these different poems about animals and it's just fun. Now it also goes through this Greetings from Somewhere series and it's about these twins who are homeschooled well, they weren't homeschooled, but their mom gets a new job and then uh, she ends up starting to homeschool them and they get to experience the world, I think, as she like goes around to different countries um, and different uh, places and they get to experience it in real life, which I think is so fun. You go through books one through eight in this curriculum and I did buy all eight of them because it just seemed like something that we would like and I would probably read again. And then the last thing that I was debating whether I wanted to purchase or not, because it is a series that you go through, even though it's not a spine, it looked really cute. I did get it from the library and I checked it out and I was like, mm, I don't know, maybe I'll just check each one of them out from the library. But then I ended up finding it at the thrift store for 75 cents. So I ended up purchasing it and it is Zoe and Sassafras. And this is, a whole little book series. You end up going through six of them. I think I am gonna end up buying the rest of the collection um, because this just looks so cute. So it's about this girl and her little cat. And she's like a scientist, but like there's different like magical animals in it. So I don't know, we, we will see. It looks really cute. Uh, it does have short chapters and very cute illustrations in it which is what drew my attention and I think my kids are really gonna like this so I'm hoping that it's a really good series because it sure does look adorable so that is all the stuff that I purchased for this curriculum I will probably do a separate video on a flip through or maybe even a review of it at the end of the year I'm hoping this is gonna be really good because it looks really fun I'm also going to be doing some more of my own Bible slash character stuff with them um, that I want to kind of sprinkle in throughout the whole year because um, because torchlight isn't uh, it's a secular program so it's only going to teach like character building um, and then the year of tales it is a christian based curriculum so they are doing like bible character like character and bible um so you will be focusing on a character trait like for week one it would be obedience and then the scripture would be ephesians 6 1 through 3 and how i plan on doing that is i have some I have bought some other materials that I thought we could go through throughout the week. And the first one I have is this First Virtues. And this just goes through all of these characters right here. So whichever ones pair up to the Year of Tales curriculum, I'm gonna add that as well. So it does have obedience, so I'll kind of show you so for instance, it will do this, bear obeys. And then uh, that's the beginning of it. And then it's just kind of like a little story that you read to them. And it will just show you different uh, places where you can obey. Then at the end, it does give scripture. And then it has this page here too that, um, that explains obedience again, and then catch your child being obedient when he or she, uh, and then it gives you some examples of like things to catch your child obeying with. Um, so it does have this little page at the end of the story. I just thought this would be a cute way to just add more to the year of tales. But that is what we are doing for our family subjects, for my 
seven, five, and four-year-old. And then, I mean, my two-year-old will probably join in on some of it too, like when we're sitting down reading books because she just loves reading books. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I will link all of this stuff in the description box. And if you like videos like this, make sure that you're subscribed and be sure to click that little bell so that you're notified every single time a new video comes out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day.